What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! It is Monday. It is 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not quite the time of times, you know, normally here we start the show at 5 o'clock. We're 45 minutes late today. I'm going to get into that in just a minute, but I want you to know that you are watching Clown Live, an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. You know what else? I'm your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. What up, though? How was your weekend? Mine was pretty phenomenal. Uh, I went over to my friend's house, and uh, he's going through a big transition. They're putting down new floors and rebuilding some rooms. So uh, I had a pretty open weekend. He's got a big house. We just went. I just went over there and chilled for a couple days and helped work on the rooms. What's up, Evans? Welcome to today's show. We are running a little bit late today, and I'm going to get into why in just a moment. But yeah, I had a pretty good weekend myself. I just kind of like totally relaxed, hung out at my friend's house for a couple days, and helped uh, redo that room. We put down some laminate flooring, did a little bit of drywall, and then, excuse me, did a very, very deep clean of his house because it needed some spring cleaning over there. And I was so happy to be a part of that, and I know he was too. So we're looking forward to a bunch of great things happening this summer over there uh, now that we're going through this big transition. All right. Yeah. Yo, we are late today. We are 45 minutes late, basically, on today's show. Why is that? Well, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. But what I do know is that I was here. I was getting live. I was getting ready to go live. And we were doing all of that. And then I went live. Yeah. Yeah. But my live stream wasn't connecting to the app. The creator app wasn't receiving data from my live stream. I had to try three or four different times before I could finally get this live stream happening. So we're already an hour into what we should be doing. So I'm excited to start talking products. We've got 22 products on the table today. That means all products on hand. One moment. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Super stoked to get into it. It's Monday. We got four people watching. Evans, if you're listening, how was your weekend? Please let me know. Anybody else that's in the chat watching, thumbs up to you. Thank you for coming out and supporting today's stream. I do really appreciate that. If you have not hit the follow button, please consider doing that, okay? Because I'll tell you very honestly uh, and bluntly, are, we're trending down. We're trending down here on Clown Live. Shopping Dragons is losing followers. And I would love so much to reach that 3,000 follower subscriber goal. Now, since I've started keeping track of the followers in real time on the show, I think we've dropped like 20, 
20 followers have stopped following. So the trend down is real. It's super real. I was so excited to break 2,900 followers. We were at like, um, I think just like 15 followers away from doing that. So now we we're, we're falling back. We're falling back. Right. So if you know anybody that you're not sharing Amazon live streams with, tell them about it. If you've told some people about it and they're not following, tell them again about it. Let them know, hey, this guy worth following on Amazon Live. And as always, it bears mentioning that the follows do help our metrics here on Amazon Live. So uh, yeah, if you're watching and you're not following, definitely do. And uh, maybe if the numbers go up in a little bit here, we will give that reminder one more time. Now, without further ado, quiet chat. Let's start today's show. Let's drink a little bit of Kool-Aid juice infused water. Delicious. I haven't had an orange one in a while. I was stuck with so many grape ones. Okay, actually, before we start our product show, I just was like trying to get this bare bones show to connect. And now that we're connected, let's get the product camera set up real quick. Should only take but a moment here. Okay, so let's do that now. I think it's kind of cool, you know, having the boxes. What I like about showing the boxes is that you get to see the product and you get to see the box. So you know, like what you're getting as it's coming in. You know what I mean? Like you, you know what to expect. Uh, I like boxes also. Okay. Now let's take care of our product camera here. We'll mute this microphone. Yeah. And then enter the stream. And then we want to give them one of these. Shaboom. Great. Okay. So this is the show. Let's straighten out our table here. We were just, you know, having an issue getting started today. Now we're good to go. I think that's not so bad. Good, good. Mike is muted. Yeah, but that's on this tab. We go over here. Good to go. All right. Now let's get into today's show. We've got some great products on the table that we're going to talk about. And the first one that we're going to get into is the Yaki IPL laser hair removal tool. Now what's great about the Yaki IPL laser removal tool is that it does as it says. Okay. It's a laser hair removal tool. It's very compact and simple to use. <clears throat> it Oh, I forgot. We're going to be tracking ourselves now. Okay. The Aki IPL laser hair removal tool looks like this. I think it is akin to like uh, some type of Star Trek device. I don't know. But it has a button for firing the laser and some buttons to navigate the on-screen menu. You put this on the area that you want to treat and you press the button. And the laser that is emitted from the Yaki is absorbed into the skin and the hair follicle. Okay. And the light energy that is absorbed by that hair follicle is converted into heat energy and that is what disables the hair follicle okay so when you first get the device you can start seeing results in one to two weeks but really they recommend that you might start a three times a week period and then gradually wean off down from there so you do three times a week for two weeks and then twice a week for two weeks and then once a week and so on uh, and until you get to the point where you might be doing it like once every two weeks or once just to keep up with the uh, with the stunted hair growth. And then if you discontinue treatment, then the hair does grow back. Now, the IPL laser hair removal device, okay, it comes with a set of safety goggles. Always protect your eyes. It comes with a razor blade and it comes with a, a plug to plug it into the wall. It's not a battery operated device. It also comes with this instruction manual. And this instruction manual is showcasing not only how the device works, but it also has a chart in it that tells you which types of skin coloration and hair coloration are compatible with this device. So for example, if you have really light blonde hair or red hair, the IPL is not going to work for that. The IPL laser hair removal won't work well for that. And the same thing applies if you have like darker toned skin. So if you have a lot of melanin in your skin, this laser hair removal tool might not work well for you. Now, if it does work well for you and you're interested in buying it, you can totally do that today. It is on sale. It's 21% off today of its $150 average retail value. Excuse me. Got some hiccups here from drinking that Kool-Aid. 
pardon me, and I was saying 21% off of its $150 value, making it $119 today. And this has a four and a half star rating with 1,470 reviews. So just under 1,500 reviews on that. Now let's take a look at the next product in our carousel. And this is going to be the Suntong dash cam. Now what's great about the Suntong dash cam is that it is pretty much the whole kit in a box. It's everything that you need to get started. Now I've got a box uh, with the Suntong dash cam here, and here is the product. Now what you get is the 1080p dash cam itself. We'll hold it down here a little bit. You get the 1080p dash cam itself. It has a plethora of options to really make this work the way that you want it to. Uh, and what I mean by that is there's a lot of nuance in the menu, but plugging it in and turning it on, it pretty much just works right out of the box as you need it to. It comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card that is pre-installed in the card slot and features navigation buttons as well as a power button. And they all serve different purposes, whether you're clicking them or pressing them or long pressing them. So definitely read the instruction manual of the Suntong 1080p dash cam. Now this dash cam has a three inch IPS screen and it has this nice suction cup that makes it easy to uh, connect to your windshield or wherever you want to suction cup it to. Uh, and it takes power, okay? And it comes with this power cable included uh, that you plug into your lighter adapter. And uh, this makes sure that when you plug it in, you're plugging it into your adapter that only turns on when you give your vehicle power. Um, because if you don't, then the Suntong will drain your vehicle's battery. And what and what is interesting about that, okay, is that, oh, one more thing before I talk about this. Uh, the, the power adapter does have a USB pass-through, so you can charge uh, even more with it. But what's interesting about the Suntong is that, okay, when you're done, when you turn your vehicle off, this only has a battery in it that will continue to record for like 10 or 15 seconds, and then it auto-offs. There's also like a G sensor in here. So uh, if your vehicle gets hit uh, with enough force, you can have the G sensor kick on and record for just a few seconds. Uh, but yeah, this is not a battery operated device. It's barely a battery backed up device. So again, once you turn the power off to your vehicle, uh, if you're not on a constant live power auxiliary port in your vehicle, then this is going to turn off in 20 seconds. It took me like a long time to learn that because I read the manual and I understood it fully, but I couldn't get mine to, to turn off. I couldn't get it to turn off. That's when I learned that my vehicle does have two different auxiliary power ports, one that's always on and one that is on only when I turn my key on. Now, one final thing that I want you to know about the four star rated with just over 3,300 reviews, Suntong dash cam is this. When you click through the carousel and navigate to the Suntong store, I believe that there should be a reverse camera that is compatible with this. And so you can have some further expandability with the Suntong, okay? Uh, $49.90 today. So basically 50 bucks for the Suntong. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. All right, now let's keep it moving on today's show, and we are going to talk more products. Hello to the five people that are out there watching. Thank you for joining today's show. If you are one of the five people that are out there watching, please feel free to say hello if you can hear the sound of my voice. And if you are one of the five people currently watching, you can feel free to unmute and hit follow. We are definitely, definitely kind of losing some followers lately. So now I feel extra passionate about the goal of trying to get that follower count back up at least to where it was, at least to where it was. We were at like 2885. Now we're at 2865, right? So if you're out there watching one of our five viewers right now, thumbs up to you. Thank you for supporting our show simply by watching. But don't forget, you can unmute and follow our show as well as participate in the chat. Okay, now with that, let's keep it moving here on the show. We're going to talk about the next product that I've got in my carousel. And uh, let me just dig this out here. I've got it right here. Here's the box. Okay, now this is the Swan security system. And what I love about this security system is that it is all hardwired. There are a lot of great wireless cameras that exist. Uh, I've owned some myself. I own some really wonderful high quality Eufy products, for example, that are wireless. But man, this Swan security system 
is just to me the bee's knees. It's not more than it needs to be, and it's just a great 1080p camera setup. Now, let me uh, just kind of stand over here, okay? Now, over here where this monitor is located, all right, this is actually my security system. So I don't know if we can zoom in over there. Yeah, you can zoom in on me. You didn't zoom? Zoom. Too far away or what? Uh, I'm going to forego the example, but hey, what's up, Vicky E? What's up, Travel Diva? Yo, thank you guys for popping out and saying hello in the chat. We started, I started today's show extremely late. I started about 15 minutes ago. I was having some extreme difficulties getting the app to receive my data. So I was unable to go live through the creator app, but I tried one more time at quarter two. Boom, we're here. We're doing it. It's Clown Live. It's Shopping Dragons. It's Amazon Live. And right now, we are just talking about this $250 home security system that you can own today. You, you guys know Vicky and Travel Diva. If you're interested, click through the carousel, add it to your cart, right? Now, before you do that, though, let me tell you a little bit about it. This Swan home security system is pretty great. Now, uh, I was just kind of showing it off over here. But there's really, like, respectfully, not so much to see, not so much to see, nothing that we can't see on the back of the box, okay? So on the back of the box, this is everything that comes included. Now, this is going to be four 1080p cameras that have the ability to see thermally, okay? So it detects heat. It will start recording, okay? It has motion sensor in it. If it detects motion, it will start recording. It also has the ability to have, see at night with its very bright LED light that is also built into each one of the four included cameras, all right? Now, what I love also about the Swan DVR system is that not only does it record during those times that I was just mentioning, but you can also set it up to record 24-7, okay? And that is the mode that I have it on because I'll be honest, I'll be honest. When I first got my Swan security system, we're going to turn the box back around here. When I first got my Swan security system, I want I thought that preserving the hard drive space was a very important thing and that I should really be mindful of it. So let's only record when the device detects something. But honestly, what I noticed is that with the detection, I didn't really feel satisfied with it. It just like it would detect a lot of things but it would like start like late. It would start late. So like somebody could totally come up and do something unsavory to a vehicle that I'm monitoring in my driveway and then run off. And then the only security footage I might have is going to be of them running off, if anything at all. So yeah, the detection does function, but it's not the most responsive. And don't let that be like a poor... Uh, don't let that deter you if you're showing any interest in what I'm saying about the Swan security system to its disadvantage, okay? Because the workaround for it is that it has a one terabyte hard drive built into it. So we just constantly record. We constantly record, which is fine for me because generally I'm not away from my house for more than like two and a half weeks at a time, which is the like basically the maximum amount of time that I can hold in one terabyte with four 1080p webcams. I keep gesturing over here, Rome. I see you in the chat. Hello. Um, yeah, it's uh, oh, thanks for popping in and then also having to run Rome. Uh, I haven't been spending as much time on, on Amazon Live lately unless I'm streaming. So I hope that your shows have been going really good. I'm gonna have to take some time to come and visit you on your stream. Thanks for popping in today. Now, like I said, don't let me badmouth the Swan security system because it is really great. Once I learned that I can just record constantly and it seamlessly overwrites the previous data, I've had no problems with the camera. It's super easy to use and it also has the ability to be complex. If you want it, uh, you can plug this into your internet and have an app. I never ran an app with mine or anything. I keep it strictly offline. This is the four camera 1080p resolution setup. And um, uh, these are B and C connections on the back of the DVR. All right. 
Also, it has a VGA out and an HDMI out so that you can monitor as you need to. And it's been a while since I looked at the back of the device. I forget if mine has a microphone thing on it or whatever, like a, a port to have a microphone. But these cameras, they do not support two-way voice. Cameras don't support two-way voice, but I think you can like buy a microphone or something for it. I forget. Let me take a look at the back of the box and remind myself. We haven't really been talking a lot about the SWAN on the show. Reliable wired connection, yes. Full HD 1080p, 24-7 protection. Heat sensing, yes. It will record thermally. Set it and forget it, yes. Security made smarter. Uh, okay. Um, what's in the box? Four-channel DVR with one terabyte head drive. Uh, one terabyte hard drive, excuse me, 10, 8, four 1080p cameras, 60 foot extension cables, an Ethernet cable, HDMI cable, power adapter, and splitter so that you can power all the cameras, um, as well as the DVR, mounting screws, quick start guide, theft deterrent stickers. What do, 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 Yeah, there's not much that I'm missing here. It looks like it also is uh, connectable to apps. But like I said, I never used the app. We just drilled a hole in the wall, ran the wires outside, plugged this in. I've been running this every single day for a couple years, and I don't have any problems with it. I keep it in my living room. So if I had to make like one observation, like a, another observation about something about it that I didn't like. It's literally only the sound, the ticking of the hard drive. If I'm paying close attention to it can sometimes be like, Oh, I wish this wasn't ticking, but I quickly out of like, forget about it. You know what I mean? So I love it. It automatically restarts. You can set up passwords so that people can't access the controls unless you want to. And once again, even though I don't use it, you can set it up online and use the DVR remotely as well. A really, really excellent deal today. I believe $250 for this four camera, 1080p, one terabyte home security DVR. Swan Home DVR Security. All right, now let's keep it moving here. We're going to talk about another product here in our carousel. And this is going to be the Eufy S200. Now, the Eufy S200 is an outdoor solo camera offering by Eufy. Okay, and uh, this camera also is one that features a 1080p resolution, and it's available today for $60. This is 23% off of its traditional $80 average retail value. Okay, so when we peel the front off, it does have a 1080p sensor as well as a bright light, and I believe it has the microphone in it, okay? Uh, this has a magnetic base that allows you to easily attach the uh, S200, wherever you want. It used to be the C22. So uh, I got to start calling it S200. Uh, so that you can mount this wherever you want. Really, really simple uh, magnetic design. And it has a USB uh, cable that is protruding from the back of it. Okay. It also has room for a memory card. And the USB cable is for power. You need this 13 foot cable that is included as well as a wall adapter to drive power to this camera. Now we got Maximilian Mulligan in the chat. I recognize that name. And he says, an excellent deal is these bell peppers for $1.99 a pound. Are they selling food on Amazon? Because I don't think I've ever pushed any food products on Amazon. Maybe an interesting way to go. Now, I don't know how I would show Amazon fresh peppers because I'm not really in the same country. I'm in Canada, but uh, that would be pretty cool if Amazon sold a bunch of fresh produce. A uh, dollar ninety nine a pound for bell peppers. Are you? Uh, what are you making? Stuffed peppers for dinner tonight? I. You know what? When I was younger, um, we would get super pizza. The super pizza has, um, you know, regular pepperoni, mushroom, onion, maybe, and green pepper. And the thing about the green pepper is they diced the green peppers. And they were okay. Like, I don't mind the taste of the pepper, but like almost every single time that I ate the green pepper off of the pizza, I don't need this. Almost every single time that I ate the pepper off the green pizza, excuse me, let me say that one more time. I apologize. Every time I ate the green pepper on the pizza, that's what I wanted to say. 
uh, there's like a skin. There's just like a small skin, and it would just peel off the tiny little less than one inch squared green pepper diced cube. You know what I'm saying? And then I get these like green pepper skins in my mouth, and I never liked it. And it's not disgusting. I just don't like it. And it turned me off of green peppers almost completely. Now, if you're talking fresh, uncooked green pepper, I'll, I'll chew those wet boys all day. Love a nice fresh green pepper, yellow pepper. It don't matter. I'll eat whatever peppers you got. But when it comes to having them cooked, I'm not a big fan. And also when it comes to pizza and pepper type toppings, I'm not really a big fan of like, pickled hot peppers on my pizza. I just find them to be, I don't know. I don't mind the pickled hot pepper, maybe like on my hot dog or something, perhaps because the hot dog is one of these, you know what I mean? With the hot dog, with the, with the pizza, it's more like, you know what I'm saying? So when you bite it, the pepper, like if you don't put the whole pepper in your mouth, then you can't bite it in half and leave a portion of the pepper. I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy, but at least it's not sports peppers, which I've never, ever had in my life. All right. The Eufy Security S200 outdoor camera is great because you don't need to use it with any Eufy wireless environment. Okay. You can use it exclusively standalone on its own, or you can also pair it with the app if you need to. For $60 today, 25% off. Save that 20 bucks when you add this to your cart today. All right, now let's talk about another awesome product here. This is one that I really like, and this is the Fantic Nex L1 Pro. Now, the Fantic Nex L1 Pro is a really nice little uh, cordless screwdriver that almost looks like a drill because of the way that it is shaped. Okay, let me get this open here real quick. All right. Let's put this one down here for now. And, uh, yeah, this is it. This is the Fantic Nex L1 Pro. Almost looks like a hot glue gun to me, in a sense. I don't know why. Maybe because it's like uh, gun-shaped. But uh, what I love about the next L1 Pro is that it's a variable speed drill. Also, what is great about this screwdriver is that this cordless screwdriver is that it has different torque settings. And I'm going to show you how to set those torque settings in just a moment. But also, what is great about the drill is the shark chuck that is included. So we can take any of some of these included. I know you can't see the, the box here, but we get some included bits in the box. And we have this nice shark chuck, okay? Now, we notice that the shark chuck is flush with the top of the drill. We can put our drill bit in. Uh, we can put our, our bit in and uh, press it down. And then we can see that the chuck recesses and leaves a little bit of a lip. Now we can guarantee that the bit is locked into the chuck and it's certainly not coming out. To remove the chuck, it's got lights on the front of it too to illuminate what you're working on. And uh, when you want to release the bit from the chuck, simply give it a little pinch grip, pull it up, pops the chuck out, and then you can remove it just as simply as you put it in. This is charged via USB-C and has an included USB-C cable to plug it in. Okay, that's included in the kit here. And uh, this is the really cool part about the Fantic Nex L1 Pro. It's got this screen on it, okay? And, and it features two buttons. And the bottom button represents what direction the drill is going in, right? So uh, whether you're going forward or pulling back here, uh, easy, easy to switch. And then also you have six different torque settings, okay, that you can toggle through as well. I love that you don't have the ability to over-tighten things with the next L1 Pro. Now, if you would like to learn more about the different torque settings, click through the carousel today, add this bad boy to your cart and check out uh, with a 25 with a 25 percent rebate on its average $80 retail value. Okay. And that's $79.97. That's what I'm saying to you today. You can scoop this up for 60 bucks, AKA $59.97. This has a four and a half star with review with 412 reviews. I really love the nice little plastic case. Very simple with the Fantic logo uh, em embossed on it or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. I never had like a nice quality uh, cordless screwdriver before. I always just have like a bunch of random bits and like several different screwdrivers that all are not good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so glad 
and I got the Fantic Next L1 Pro. <clears throat> All right, let's take a little water drinking break here. We drank a lot of orange drinks today, so let's just drink some water. And then uh, we're going to move along. We're going to move along here. We're going to talk about the next item in our carousel. Let's learn what that is together right now. It is the pluggable USB microscope. What uh, what kind of newfangled picture is that? Excuse me. Let me click on my uh, let me click on my carousel stuff here, and then where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? We're only on item six. Okay, no problem. Boom. Um, they're just showing a new, I got kind of a new version, 2 megapixel, 250 times. Oh, I never knew that it was megapixel. Okay, cool. Videos. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's get back to today's show then. We'll close this. Sorry if you heard something that I didn't. Okay. Now let's get into this. This is the pluggable USB digital microscope. Now I've got that right here. And I'm going to put it on the table and show it to you. This is a two, oh, let me move my drink out of the way, excuse me. <clears throat> this is a two megapixel, 250 time zoom digital microscope that you can have today for $40. This is $39.95 and that's 33% off of its $59.99 average retail value. So save basically 20 bucks today when you add this one to your cart. I love this little device. I bought this so that I could look at some plants that I was growing. I wanted to see them very up close to determine if there were any mites or other bugs or unsavory things that I simply couldn't see with the naked eye. But this is so much good. This is so great. You can use it for more than just plants. You can look at gem facets or soldering joints, for example. You can look at electronics up close or see coins, whether you're a hobbyist or you want to use this for something more functional. Functional. The pluggable USB digital microscope is definitely a great option. This is another product that I've bought and owned for a super long time. And I'm only completely 100% satisfied with it. It has a bendable gooseneck and it's mountable on a tripod. It has a button on the top that you can touch to take a picture and features a LED brightness adjustment slider on the top okay those leds go around the ring of the camera here let's uh, follow me and also it has this manual focus knob now you can't zoom or pull out you can't zoom in or out with this it's fixed 250 times zoom but it really allows you the ability to focus at different layers of what you're looking at i really really love my pluggable and if like i said you're looking for something whether it's for hobby or for business you got to see something up close for some reason this is a really really great option it is usb 2.0 compliant and yeah like i said um there's nothing to repeat. It is great. And it is available today with a four and a half star rating with just over 6,000 reviews. All right. Now let's talk about the next product in my carousel. And that is going to be the Trivet Stormbox Micro. Okay. Now the Trivet Stormbox Micro is a nice little Bluetooth speaker that is available today for $50. And this is 17% off of its $60 average retail value. What I like the most about the Stormbox Micro is that it has two speakers built into it. Also, this is IP65 weather resistant. And I believe, let me check the box, but before I do, I want I, I think it's Bluetooth 5.3 compatible. 5.0. So it's the Stormbox Blast that's 5.3. So the Stormbox Micro is Bluetooth 5.0 compatible. This is great if you want to increase the sound of some calls uh, or just hear some music on the go. It features a nice little strap, a silicone strap on the back that when you pop it off the front, wraps around like your bike bar or whatever really easy okay and holds into place very simply this is not designed to go on your wrist it is ip67 water resistant so you can get this wet in the shower it's six seven or x seven this is six seven waterproof so that's also a great thing you can use this in the shower it's usb c 
chargeable and has a power button and a Bluetooth pairing button on the front, as well as above the strap, it has little lights to indicate the battery status of this device. Um, really, really fun little speaker. I love that it's two speakers and I find that it sounds pretty good. Pretty good, I'm going to say, for what it is being a very compact, portable speaker. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with it. Now, not only does it have the power and Bluetooth buttons on the front of it with the battery uh, light LED indicator at the top, but um, on, on the top of the device, excuse me, you do have volume up and down as well as a multifunction button um, included is tri-bit branding. Really, really small, very simple device, fun to use, sounds great, and has just under 5,000 reviews today, giving this a four and a half star rating. The Tribit Micro, excuse me, the Tribit Stormbox Micro is available today for, like I said, $50. Save, um, save 10 bucks today when you add this to your card at 17% off. All right, now the next product that we're going to look at is another tri Tribit product, and that is going to be the Tribit Home Wireless Bluetooth Speaker. Now, the Tribit Home Wireless Bluetooth Speaker comes in this box and looks like this. Now, the speaker uh, is an alarm clock, okay, and it plugs into the wall with an included power adapter and has a few different ways to connect audio to it. One of them, of course, is going to be Bluetooth, hence the wireless Bluetooth speaker name, okay? Now, not only can you connect to this via Bluetooth, but also on the back of the device, there is a micro SD card reader, uh, a, a headphone jack, uh, excuse me, it is a SD card, a micro, let me say that again. Let me say that again. This has a micro SD card reader. It also features a three and a half millimeter uh, jack that is an auxiliary input as well as an input for the included FM antenna because this does have an FM tuner built into it. It also features a plug on the back to plug it into the wall and on the front side it has USB-C and also a USB port on the back that push out on average 5 volts 2 amps. Um, I like the fabric on the front of this. Every time I rub it, it doesn't seem to move the fabric. It's adhered to the body very well. It's the same type of fabric on the back. I love that they just made the same shell. They just made the same shell and made a plug for the back of it, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, these must be injection molded, I'd guess. And anyway, they're split in the middle by this diffused white plastic, which lights up in a, in a white light, as well as some colorful RGB options. I like this. It's very, very loud when I hold it in my hand and crank it when I did demos. It's super, super loud. It shakes in your hand when you're using it. The Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker is available today. Here, what are we this way? Yeah. The Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker is available today for $70 and has a four-star rating with 84 reviews. Now, let's keep it moving here. We're going to talk about another product in my carousel, and this is one, like, I use almost all of these. I'll admit that there are some products that I have here that I don't use every day, okay? This is a product that is, like, I packed this product up next in my book bag when I left because a couple weeks ago, I went out and I brought my laptop with me and I was forced to use my laptop keyboard and whatever. It's not exactly what I'm used to when typing. We all have our favorite keyboards or our daily driving keyboard and we're all used to typing on that, aren't we? And uh, this is what this is for me. Now, mine it is well used, so let's keep that in mind, all right? Now, this is the Logitech, what is it, KB400. Logitech KB400, right? Oh, let me use my mouse. I was like, where's my mouse? It's right here in my hand. Okay, it is K400, not KB400. Hold on. K400, yeah, okay. So this is the Logitech K400 wireless keyboard. Mine, as you might be able to see from all the light glinting off of it, uh, in some spots and then matted in others that this is a well-used keyboard. I love my Logitech K400. This has been a gift uh, from a cousin of mine. I've used this on almost every computer I've had for the last, like, since I got it, since I got it. It's been so long, I can't remember, but it's been multiple years, multiple computers. 
This is a phenomenal multimedia uh, keyboard uh, for your house. If you got a little computer hooked up to your TV, uh, whatever you got and you need a keyboard for, this Logitech K400 is pretty, pretty great. Uh, what I love about it the most is that it is really small. Now it's super flexible. Okay. It's super flexible. It's available today for $28 and this is 7% off of its $30 average retail value. So not saving so much money today on this keyboard, the K400, but, uh, it's still worth its weight in gold. Like I said, I've been using mine for years. It takes two triple A trips or, or dubs. It takes two double A batteries. Okay. They, uh, they install in the back. Takes two dubs that install in the back. And then also there's a little tray to put your uh, IR um, receiver, not IR receiver, but your USB receiver. Okay. And uh, yeah, oh, let me put this on properly. There we go. It's got a little off switch that you can press to turn it off. Okay. You can see it's kind of red there. And then we turn it on. It turns to green. It's just a uh, ink. It's not a light. Love, love, love my Logitech K400. I could talk about it all day about how I love it. And I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to talk a little bit more about it. Okay. Now, if you click through the carousel and you're considering adding this K400 to your cart today, there is the K400 Plus. It is a newer version of the K400. But let me tell you something. Okay. This is what the difference between. Here's the differences between the K400 and the K400 Plus. On the K400, I'll put it up real close. Okay. Oh, yeah, my face. Okay, hold on. All right. So we put this up close. Look, we got function buttons, okay? We've got function buttons on our keyboard. When we press our function button, it is aqua in color or turquoise, whatever color, okay? Every button on this keyboard that has a secondary function including the function keys as well as the, the, the D-pad, for example, all have their function displayed in that matching color. K400, gray, just gray, whatever. And then, uh, okay, also another major, there's two other major differences I want to cover between the K400 and the 400 plus. Um, okay. So now I love the 400. I just want to keep that in mind, but people might like the 400 plus. I don't mind talking about both of them, uh, because they're so similar. Okay. But, uh, with the 400 here, uh, we have these media buttons at the top. I don't care much for these media buttons or so much for this sleep button. Um, and just stay with me. Uh, some of these function buttons, they're not the function keys. They are the shortcut keys. You have to press function in order to use the F key with these. Now, we have some track control options, among other options, but we have volume control options that are set on F10, 11, and 12, mute, down, and up, okay? Now, what the K400 Plus has gone ahead and done is that they've repurposed these media keys down into the function home, the function uh, section of the keyboard, and then they've moved these hardware keys above the mouse pad. And now on the K400 Plus above the mouse pad, you have your volume controls, which I think is pretty cool, okay, compared to the K400 that I have. Now, one final thing that I want to show you about the difference between the K400 and 400 Plus is here, all right? Let's stop tracking for a moment. Is here, and that's the D-pad, all right? Now, if you look at this D-pad, we have a full-sized up and down, as well as a left and right button, whichever my orientation is. We have a full-size D-pad, and the up button and the shift button are the same size button, okay? Your right shift button. I've personally never had a problem with this at all, and uh, on the K400+, Plus. What you've, what's happened is they've reduced the size of the up and down buttons to half-sized keys, okay? And the half-sized keys occupy the space of just the down button. So now you get up and down on the same button, and your shift button is widened, and it's as wide as two keys now. Not a fan. Don't need that. I like my full-size D-pad on my K400+. Plus. I love this keyboard. I think you know that from the passionate way that I'm speaking to you about it now. If you're looking for a great gift or just an awesome keyboard for yourself, I totally can't 
tell you that you would go wrong with the Logitech K400 or even the 400 plus my boy, my homeboy, he has a 400 plus and he's like, I got it because of you. And I'm like, I love that. All right, wrapping up on this then, welcome to the third viewer that just joined us here now. This Logitech K400 keyboard uh, can be yours and brand new. I know mine's well good used, but yours can be new today for just $27.96, and that is 7% off of its $29.99 average retail value. So save a couple bucks there when you add this to your cart. If you do click through the carousel, let me know if you like the K400 that we're showing here or the K400 Plus more, all right? I was going to go put this product down on the table, but it actually stays on the desk. Now, let's grab our next product here to talk about, and this is going to be the EF EcoFlow Camping Light. Now, this is another one of those products that I could just go bonkers about forever, you know what I'm saying? Because it's such a high-quality product but since i spent so much time on our previous product let's drink a little bit of water and then talk about this one maybe in a little bit less amount of time okay <clears throat> excuse me okay this is the ef ecoflow camping light this camping light features a 5200 milliamp hour battery that you can use to charge devices externally through a usb a power adapter located right behind this little output door okay that's here and then when we turn the device 180 degrees we've got an input gate that is allowing us to charge the ecoflow camping light via usb c Okay, now what is awesome about the camping light is that when you push the button on, this is what's going to activate your, your uh, lights to tell you how much charge is left in the light, as well as activate the charging output port. Okay, that's very important. Now, when we press the cable, the light button again, the power button, we cycle through to our brightest white light. We also have a warm yellow light and a softer white light. This also features, oh, that was super bright in my eyes. This also features a super bright flashlight. Okay, I'm really like flashing my eyes for no reason right now. Joanna, what is up? Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining. We started the show a little bit late, almost an hour ago. Wow, we started the show. Maybe 45 minutes ago we started, and uh, we're just flying through products. We're talking about the EF EcoFlow camping light. How have you been? Much clown love to you. I hope you're doing very well. And uh, yeah, let me tell you while I'm looking at the phone, okay? The EF EcoFlow, this camping light, is available today for $69. Now, it does have that super bright flashlight like I was talking about, and also it has an SOS mode, okay? Uh, so when we cycle through our flashlight, we cycle to our last thing, and this is our SOS mode. The... Camping light is IPX6 weather resistant, and another great feature about it is that even in its brightest mode, it features a stepless dimming mode, okay? So you can dim your white, or white light if you want a little less light, um, and it's stepless dimming, right? So you press and hold the power button, and it just dims without, like, without tacking down. And when we hold it again, it's going to increase uh, brightness, and that's really great. Now... The light has a little hook on the bottom of it, okay? It's got a hook on the bottom. It actually has two hooks, and so it makes it easy to put this on through a loop, uh, but the two hooks go together and make a loop themselves. They also have a neodymium magnet uh, on the top and bottom that allow this to adhere to any surface. So you can get this a little bit damp. Uh, you can charge your devices with this. You can hang it. You can stick it. You can have it bright. You can have it dim. Uh, you can use it as a flashlight. There's just a lot of great options with this. And that is $69 today for the EF EcoFlow camping light. Now, one thing that I want to say, and I don't know, I'm wildly, wildly speculating here to the five people that are watching. Hello, everyone. Um, look at this. I got to I got to go through the EF EcoFlow store myself and see what other lights there are because when we take a look at this box, I know it's like washed out or whatever. Box is washed out, but it says that I have a black three-color light 
that is 7,200 milliamp hours. Now, previously I said that it was 5,200 and I'm clearly mistaken. I was thinking of a different product. I was thinking of a projector that I have, uh, 7,200 milliamp hours for the EF EcoFlow camping light. But unchecked on this box are different colors, green and white, also white light, yellow light, and 3,600 milliamp hour battery option. So are there smaller lights that EcoFlow makes that I'm uncertain of? I mean, I would love to find out. I would love to find out because I never learned. Okay, now you're going to get a simple cinch sack to carry your light with if you want. Also, it comes with a USB to USB-C charging cable. So you can charge your device and it has some instructions in it. Uh, has some instructions in it as well. Sorry, that is all washed out by my lights. That is the EcoFlow camping light. Uh, and while I'm looking at the data in front of me, this has a four and a half star rating with 90 reviews. All right, now let's talk about another EcoFlow product here. This one's going to be a little bit bigger than a camping light. This is the EF EcoFlow River 2 Portable Power Station. All right, now this power station is a 256 watt hour LifePo 4 battery, okay, bank. And it's really, really great because when it's fully charged, you can charge your phone a few times with this. You can charge your laptop steady for like up to three or four hours with this, uh, depending on its draw rate. Now, when we turn the device on, the simple to read screen turns on and it shows us that we have 99 hours left of current power remaining uh, on our current draw. OK, which is this small triple number on the bottom. Uh, the triple number on the bot on the top, the three digit number on the top represents wattage that is going into the device. And again, the triple digit number on the bottom represents wattage being drawn. The number in the middle represents how much battery life we have left. This is currently fully charged. And again, the 99 represents how many hours we have remaining on our current draw. In order to charge the, we're gonna get back to the front in just a minute, but in order to charge the EF EcoFlow portable power station, you can plug it in the wall here. And from a zero to 100% charge takes about an hour to do so. It also comes with another plug that you can plug this in via your vehicle's accessory port, accessory power port. Um, or you can plug in with the river to the, um, the, um, solar panels compatible. You can plug in compatible solar panels with the river Two. when you click through the store, uh, they're going to be compatible only with the river Two, the 110 volt solar panel. Okay. So keep that in mind in regard to river Two. Now there are other batteries that EcoFlow offers that support other solar panels so if that's what you're interested in definitely again click through the carousel see what you like and if you have the uh the ability let me know what you like but i'm a big fan of the river too and like anybody we always think bigger is better i think with b batteries that's definitely true especially in the concept of emergency situations but this is light this small battery is light it's easy to port and on the front of it, it has two plugs, okay, two house plugs, one grounded. It also features two USB-A ports and a USB-C port and an auxiliary power plug, okay? Um, this is a very tough and durable machine. Uh, it's been, I've seen a video from EcoFlow where they froze it in ice. They ran it in water, not underwater. They dragged it behind a truck. They threw it down some stairs. They torched it with this giant blow torch and they just put them through a massive beating and they just kept working. I see them park vehicles. They parked a car, like one under each wheel of a vehicle. That was crazy. Um, and this can be yours today for 17% off of its $289 average retail value. This is available today for $239 and features a four and a half star rating with just under 1700 reviews. I really love my River 2. I hope that in the future, I get the ability to own an even bigger portable battery. Like I said, with these small batteries like the River 2, these are great for leisure if you want to go camping and just charge your phone up. Uh, or if you are in some type of emergency situation, it's just comforting to know that you've got at least a little bit of power to get you through a little bit of time. 
Um, yeah, I really, really have been like thinking a lot about solar lately and I really want to get solar panels. Um, I live in this smaller trailer park home and I really think that like I could cut down some power usage. Like, uh, excuse me, not cut down power usage, but try to mitigate reliance on the grid via solar. <clears throat> I know that it's kind of like a, a little investment or whatever. I know that it's kind of like a little investment or whatever to figure out the solar stuff. But, uh, man, I really do think that if I'm going to stay here, I it, it would be worth it. It would be worth it. All right, let's get these cables up on the table here. And now let's talk about the product that I'm holding currently. This is the NOCO Genius 2x2. It's a 4-amp battery bank that offers two 2-amp two charging bays, okay? Uh, and you can have this for your car or your truck. I use it for my scooters, like, mostly. But you can use this for anything because the NOCO Genius Smart Battery Charger charges 12-volt lithium, AGM, and lead acid batteries. This also supports charging six volt batteries and features this great ability to charge batteries that don't have any voltage coming from them. The Genius is smart in that it will detect what type of battery is connected to it. So you don't even have to set that. You just put the, the alligator clips on and you're good to go. Now, the alligator clips that are included with the kit are are on a short lead and that short lead i got my cables always mixed up here every show i got my cables mixed up man okay and uh kind of seems like counterproductive but it's how we do okay uh i was looking at the light again all right so these are the power cables oh let's stand back these are the power cables kind of a short throw with these but what is great about these little alligator clips okay is that they're connected to the lead with a screw that can be removed to expose an eyelet. And then you can permanently affix your lead to your battery. So that's really helpful in some situations. Every lead, whether it's the extension cord or the power cords that are coming off of the NOCO Genius itself, okay, have that proprietary have that proprietary connection to it with a weather cap, okay? So you can keep the dust and grime out of your device. Now, what I love about the short throw is that you can permanent, permanently install these in your battery if you need to. And then you get this extension cord uh, so that you can reach the device if you need. Okay, now with the with the NOCO Genius 2x2, two two, you get two sets of alligator clips and two extension cords in the box, one for each bank. Now, with just under 2,900 reviews, the NOCO Genius 2x2 two two has a four and a half star review and is available today for just under $100, $99.95. All right, I do, though, genuinely really love the NOCO Genius 2. I, we didn't have a deep freeze in the winter this year. So I never took my batteries out of my scooter, and I'm really, really hoping that I can take my completely dead batteries, charge them up, that there won't be any issue with them, and then and then just start riding the scoot. If not, I'm going to have to cough up like 80 bucks for a battery again. Seems like I'm... Seems like almost every other season I got to buy a new battery because I don't take care of my batteries very well. Maybe I should learn a lesson. All right, let's get to Comalgo. <clears throat> All right, now we are taking a look at this Comalgo LED projector. Now with the Comalgo, what you're going to get is a 9500 lumen or 220 ANSI brightness projector now it is 9500 lumens that one i definitely remembered for sure i forget i forget what the ansi rating is but this is 53 dollars today and has a four star rating with 625 reviews this thing is super simple ready to go to take uh i label mine cords <laughs> i label mine what cords do you label my cords they're not they're multi versatile they're versatile so i wouldn't label them and i recognize what they go for because they have the proprietary connector but i keep all the things that need to be together together 
All right, now this 90, oh yeah, it says it right here in the title. That's why I know it's 9,500 lumens. This 9,500 lumen projector claims to be brighter than 90 or 95% of the projectors currently on the market. It has a $53 average retail value and has a little lens cap that pulls off quite easily, okay? Uh, there is the lens. It features manual keystone and focus, and it has a headphone out jack, an audio video in jack, SD card, two USBs, HDMI, as well as VGA inputs. This doesn't have a great operating system on it. There's no Android in this. It does have a little speaker built into it. So you're frozen. You're frozen. Let me check. Let me check the stream myself and see what's going on because I'm still live everywhere. My app is fine. Let me open a new tab here. Wrong button. I want to go here. No, it doesn't seem frozen to me. I'm good, dude. No. I'm looking on my PC and I'm not frozen. <clears throat> Try refresh. <clears throat> okay, we're going to keep the show flowing here. Right after I take a little drink. <clears throat> All right, now, I was saying a moment ago, we were talking about the Comalgo HD projector. This projector is uh, supports 1080p resolutions that are downsampled into a 720p projection, okay? This has an IR receiver on the front and the back. Okay, here's the front. Here's the back. You plug it in the wall. It has controls on the top to control it. It's all pretty straightforward. I used this uh, for one movie. It looked really good. I can't remember if I had a 1080p movie that was downsampled into a 720p or if I was just watching a 720p rip of the video. But uh, the movie was good. We watched super bad on it. Really funny movie. And uh, yeah, this is great. It's uh, it's not like super bright like a DLP, but at 9,500 lumens, it certainly was pretty bright, especially in a very dark room. All right. Now, once again, this projector is available today for $53. Oh, it does come with the remote control and it does come with the audio video cables that you would expect it to come with in order to connect to it. So. Uh, that's going to be an RCA to barrel connector, and um, I'm trying to refresh. Well, I'm 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 looking at my Amazon live stream. Let me type it to you in case I am frozen. I'm looking on my PC and I'm not frozen. I already typed that message, Joanna. I'm sorry that you're experiencing issues with today's show. Hopefully, you'll be able to watch us in real time again soon because we're talking Amazon products for the rest of the show. Spoiler alert. <clears throat> now, the next thing that we're going to look at is going to be the Eufy H30. <clears throat> Pardon me. You're good. Okay. Thank you, Joanna. All right. Now, this is the Eufy by An this is the Eufy by Anchor Home Vac H30 handheld portable vacuum okay has a very large dust bin and a washable reusable and replaceable filter it has a power head accessory that does turn the head when power is applied it features a battery that is easy to remove and replace it also charges on device this features two different modes max and eco mode uh, I think you get 12 minutes of cleaning on max mode and 20 out of eco mode. Has a simple power button and a dust bin release button on the top. Super, super simple to operate this. It has these two contacts here, okay? And these contacts are what charges the H30. So you drop it into the base and it's good to go. Now, it also has this 
crevice tool accessory that has a retractable brush tool. So you can do the brush tool and then you can press the button and retract it back to reveal the hard tip of the crevice tool. And uh, you can get into your crevice with this. Now, the Eufy by the HomeVac H30 is available today for $110. And this is a pretty good deal, being 39% savings on a $180 MSRP. Uh, if you're looking for a great vacuum, I definitely recommend the, the, the H30. Mima and I use this almost every single day. Sometimes I say every day, almost every single day. Whenever we need something clean, that's a small little job. Uh, the Eufy H30 is usually our first go-to. Okay, now let's talk about some Govi lights. Okay, so today we don't have our Govi lights plugged in, but that's all right. We're going to talk about them anyway. Now, these are the Govi outdoor string lights. These come in 48 and 93 six foot lengths that are available when you click through the carousel for $100 today we are talking Govi outdoor string lights 96 feet now with 96 feet you're going to get like I said two 48 foot lengths that each length has 15 LED bulbs on them that support over 16 million colors and are completely customizable within the Govi app that is free on Google and Apple stores um, it has a great community that allows you to download different themes and scenes for your lights. So whether you're using string lights like I'm showing now or TV lights or LED lights like I've got above me, uh, these are not Govi lights above me. Uh, the Govi app is tremendously wonderful at allowing you to express yourself exactly how you want to. Okay, the Govi Outdoor String Lights are IP65 watt weather resistant, right? 6.5 or 6.7? 6.5 water resistant. Okay, so you get IP65 weather resistant on the lights. Each bulb is uh, customizable to the color that you want. And the controller that comes with it is IP5 water resistant. And the power that plugs into the wall has no water resistance. It's a really great kit. I can't wait to hang it up outside. I bought this in October during Prime deals, and I wasn't able to um, I wasn't able to set it up outside because they're not like designed to be set up permanently outside. You might hang these up for the weekend. They might get a little rain on them. They might get a little like dew on them or whatever, and they're still gonna function just fine. Uh, but they're not designed to be set up permanently. The Govi Outdoor String Lights are available today for $100. All right, what's the next one? The pluggable base. <clears throat> Pardon me. Where's the picture here? Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to take a look at is this pluggable dual monitor docking station. This dual monitor docking station connects to your computer with a USB 3.0 cable and features four USB ports on the back, okay, as well as an Ethernet port. It also features a DVI out and an HDMI out. It also has the port to connect it to your computer and a power cable as well. That is all on the rear of the device. On the front of the pluggable docking station, you have an independent microphone as well as headphone jack, three and a half millimeter jack, and two USB 3.0 ports. Try to get my first row. I, I get to try my first Robovac this week or weekend. Yo, that sounds great. You know, we've been talking a, a little bit frequently. Uh, excuse me. We've been talking about a little bit here lately uh, about the Eufy Hybrid X8 Robovac. It's a mop and a vacuum in one, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, but we don't have that one in our carousel today. Okay, we don't. We don't. We don't have that one in our carousel today. But what we do have here now is this pluggable dock. Now, I'm actually using this dock 
to run my entire computer system right now. Uh, I've shown it on every show in the past. Hey, what's up to the six people that we got watching today? I think that's the first time that I've been able to move over to another hand. So what up to six people watching? Thank you, everybody, for joining me here on today's show. We started a little late, but we are keeping it going here past 7 p.m. All right, we are going to go until our carousel is done or 745, all right, whichever one comes first. And uh, yeah, so the Gobi Outdoor String Light, oh, we're done with Gobi Outdoor Lights, my bad. So the pluggable USB 3.0 universal laptop dual monitor docking station is a great option if you want to hook up a DVI or HDMI monitor to your to your battle station. I've got um, I've got my laptop hooked up to a monitor and to an old TV via DVI and HDMI respectively. And it's just like a total game changer to know that I have a one cable solution to unplug my laptop from all of this workstation and then just go and be mobile. So all my ethernet, my internet, all my monitors, all my USB devices, it's so great to know that I can run everything off of a single USB 3.0 port. Now, Joanna says, seriously, I was going to get that 96 feet or 48 feet and leave on the porch year round. No, 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 absolutely. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that uh, because they don't say that you should. They don't say that you should. Uh, the box it doesn't have a lot of info on it. I don't believe that they are designed to be permanently installed outside. And I feel that if they were designed to be permanently installed outside, that you would like see that on the box. And I feel that that would be an important note that I would recall. But uh, you know what? I've been wrong in the past. I've been wrong in the past. I don't think that I'm wrong right now, but I'm going to grab a product page for this. <clears throat> And uh, here's a 96 feet light. Okay, Govi Outdoor String Lights, 96 feet, 30 dimmable, IP65 waterproof, warm white LED bulbs, two ropes of 48 smart outdoor light for dating, party, wedding. So if you want to date these lights, these are for dating. And uh, while I'm looking at our product page, I noticed that our $100 average retail value does in fact include a $15 applicable clickable coupon. So make sure if you do add these to your cart, you add that you add that um, that coupon. But honestly, I just want to be real straight with you. I've seen these Govi products go on super great deal. So what, whenever they do Prime Day this year, like uh, I'm just saying, like you're probably going to get a really, really phenomenal deal on these lights. <clears throat> but I uh, when is usually Prime Day? Let me know. Uh, OK, let's see. Um, creative, 16 million colors, scenes, smart app, voice control. Yeah. RGB, do, 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 IP water. Enjoy year-round outdoor lights no matter the weather. Designed plastic waterproof outdoor decor bulb is also shatterproof to survive knocks and falls. Please note that the power adapter is not waterproof. So, okay, all right. So do I stand corrected? Do I stand corrected right now? Thanks for that info. Yeah, let's see if I do stand corrected. Let me scroll back up here again. Let's scroll back up here again. Let me set up my thing to share my page with you, and uh, we'll share the product page together. So let's uh, let's just full screen myself here real quick. Let's go back to the Govi lights and have them highlighted in my carousel while I'm talking about them. Let me present my screen to you, okay, the viewing audience, and let's talk. Uh, okay, actually, before I do that, let me switch some screens around and make things a little bit easier for me. And uh, all right, so we'll scroll up here and then we can full screen here. And then we want to share, 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 share. Yes. Okay, great. All right, so we're going to leave our product camera on the show, even though that's not what we're doing. Actually, it just takes a second to go like that. Kaboom. All right, so this is the page. Govi Outdoor String Lights. Let's make this a, a darker page, okay? That white is really a lot. <clears throat> All right. 
Okay, the Govi Outdoor String Lights, uh, respectfully, blah, 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 all this information. And then we go down here to about this item, and it says right here, right here, IP65 waterproof. Enjoy year-round outdoor lights no matter the weather. Designed plastic waterproof outdoor decor bulb is also shatterproof to survive knocks and falls. Please note the power adapter is not waterproof. Okay, so like it doesn't say that you can permanently install it. It just says that it's IP65 waterproof and that you can use it year round. So if it did get damp, it would be okay. But like I personally, I'm just saying maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong here with this one, Joanna, but I might not personally want to use them, install them year round. I would probably put them up for the time that I wanted to use them and take them down when I didn't want to. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, but also, I'd say this. If I had the lights, like, installed under my carport, for example, right, uh, or, like, under something, then I wouldn't be worried about it at all. I would probably leave them outside 24-7 because they're not getting wet, right? So that's where I'm at with that. All right, let me take a look at this, though. Black and clear lights, Govi branded, indoor, outdoor usage, used outdoors. Okay, I'm sure you could use them inside if you wanted to. Color changing, LEDs, corded electric, multicolor, Christmas. Okay, no, no, style, plastic, temperatures, types. Okay, what do we got here? Control method with the app, manufacturer, product, product, assembled, special features, color changing, remote control, dimmable, waterproof. Is there questions? Is the control box weatherproof? How many strings can be connected together? I bought 296 thinking we can leave. Um, unit extension. How bright? Uh, 165 questions. Okay, we're not going through all those. Set do do working countries. Allow Korean. I didn't want to ask a question. Can we go back here, please? <clears throat> jump down to the ratings. Oh, questions, questions, questions. I don't know how we see all questions. There we go. Connect, smart things, UK plugs, factory, bright, speed, distance, connections i mean i don't know i don't know it says outdoors uh clearly and i'm just like maybe trying to like push my own agenda uh maybe i'm trying to be like see see but i've already clicked through like 40 different questions and none of them are really like making indication that uh you can't keep them outside year round i just i wouldn't i personally would not and that's all that i'm saying it's a personal opinion with no factual data to back it up. I just tried to do that just now, and I couldn't do it. Okay, now let's jump back to the product that we are in here. Let's bring our product page back into the show. Our product table, I mean to say. Now, the pluggable dual monitor dock is really great, and it is available for $119 today. And this is 28% off of its $165 average retail value. I really like mine. There are different docks that do different things. So if you're like, hmm, dock seems interesting, but maybe not exactly this one, I encourage you again, click through the carousel, navigate to the pluggable store, okay? And find the different docks that they have to offer because there are some tremendous options there that are a little more pricey than this pluggable dock that we've got here. But there are definitely, I watched some, I watched some drop them in water the outdoor string lights that we were talking about. Uh, Cause we can go back to the outdoor string lights. You know what? I've had those lights since October. And you know what I noticed the other day? I thought that the white bulb, like the plastic bulb part, I thought it was permanently affixed to the housing. And that this is what would like generate that, I, that water resistance, but no, they totally screw off. They totally unscrew those bulbs. So I don't know what to make of that, but it does happen. All right. Now let's talk about the next product in our carousel. And this is going to be the Eufy Security Smart Drop. Now, the thing about the Smart Drop is I literally have one right outside my door here. Turn it 
turn 180 degrees. There's my door. Okay. And here's my Eufy Security Smart Drop. Oh, it's still kind of nice. It's a little bit chilly outside. Here's my Eufy Security Smart Drop. Now we are looking at the back of the device as it faces out to the front of the uh, post delivery. But a really, really cool box, okay? So let's come back inside. I just wanted to show you that I did have it on hand. And uh, yeah, so let's quickly turn this back here. Okay, I think it's something like this. We'll figure it out in a moment. And uh, let's reset this. Oh, hey, everybody. Camera kind of stopped following me there when we went outside. And, uh, yeah, so that is the smart drop. I've got the box outside. Let's get this set up nice. No, no, nicer than that. What are you doing, bud? All right, not so bad. Okay, we'll put this one back. <clears throat> yeah, so the Smart Drop by Eufy is available today for $400, but I almost guarantee that when I click through this um when I click through this page, it's going to be $200 off today. Um no, not this, but pretty cool that I've got a That's not what I want. Click the wrong thing. I want this. Dragon Blogger Smart Video. No, let's just go right to the page since I've got one. And it does have the $200 coupon. Let us share our screen again. Boom. Okay. So this is the Eufy Security Smart Drop. It is a smart delivery package drop box. And it really does offer you the ability to prevent porch pirates. Okay. Now, let me know if my show is kind of chugging along. I feel like I'm dropping frames here. But also, the show seems to be in good working order as well. All right. Eufy Security, Smart Drop, Big Box, put it outside, screw it to the ground. It comes with the mounting hardware, and it's available for $300, uh, $400 today with a $200 applicable coupon. Now, what's great about this is it does deter porch pirates. It has a code system that you can set up so that you can set up different delivery people to have different codes. It's really easy to use the codes. It's just getting the delivery people to use them themselves. That is the most difficult part about the Eufy Security Smart Drop. But this has that four-digit plus code that you can set to get into it you can have a master code and set different users it has a button on it to open the device it also features a 1080p camera with a two-way microphone so you can communicate with the people that are dropping off your packages through the eufy app um, and also it comes with two keys to get into it and is operated by a battery that just lasts forever. I bought, I got my, excuse me. Um, I got my Eufy security smart drop a couple, a couple, uh, months ago. And I took, I opened it up out of the box, did not charge my battery, put my battery right into my Eufy smart drop. And it's just been functioning, uh, ever since it's just a simple screw to loosen, to pull the battery out charge it up, put it back in, and you're going to be set for a while. Uh, it's about 45 pounds. It does have an alarm on it. If people try to shake it, it will, it will go off. And I think that's pretty much everything that I know about the Eufy Security Smart Drop. Um, I love mine. I haven't been getting as many packages lately, but it's always fun seeing people use the box. And this is good for at least like 90% of the packages that you're going to receive. Like if you're going to get something bigger than that, you know, then you might have to uh, be wary of it. Okay. And like I said, let's move on to our next product. But before we do, the Eufy Security Smart Drop is available today for $400 with a $200 clickable coupon. Now let's take a look at the next product that we've got in today's carousel. And this is going to be the Amazon Fire HD 10 uh, tablet. Now let's switch to our regular view. Kaboom. Okay. Here's the tablet here. <clears throat> the Fire HD 10 is available today for $89.99 and that's 40% off. I've only ever seen these things at 50% off during prime deals or prime early access deals. And I'm holding out until they go on 50% again. 
Uh, 40% off is an amazing deal. Okay. These are regularly $150 today with that 40% savings. You can get these for $90, but 50% off makes these $75 a pop. And I'm just kind of holding out for that, uh, that extra bonus. Uh, and then I'm going to probably buy one for Mima's mother. And I might buy a second one for myself, even though I literally don't need a tablet. You know, okay, and that's what makes these so great. They're so easy to use and so fun to have around. These feature the HD, the Fire HD 10 tablet has a plastic back and three gigs of memory. And that's essentially the only things that set it aside from the HD 10 Pro, which has a metal back and four gigs of memory. Uh, the HD 10 has a camera on the front. Okay. It also features a camera on the back. Now we've got our HD 10 Mima's HD 10 wrapped up in an official, uh, fire tablet, um, Amazon case that you can get when you click through the carousel. It's not included with the tablet. Uh, and Mima loves this. It does everything that she needs it to do. It plays her videos. It, uh does her social media it's like i we got this for her i'm like aren't you tired of looking at your little phone all the time every day enjoying social media like you've got to get a bigger thing we got her this now i hardly ever see her on her phone when she's at home unless she's making a phone call uh the fire hd10 is super easy to use uh, and it can be side loaded with the Google Play Store as it only runs on the Amazon App Store currently. But it's super easy to install that third party app, <clears throat> excuse me, and really unlock the full potential of this Amazon tablet. Uh, all right. Now, once again, it is available today. Oh, it also has a 10.1 inch screen and it has a little bit of IO on it, like volume controls, power, microphone, USB-C to charge and a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. All right. Or audio out jack. $89.99 today. $90, sub $100 for this great little tablet. And uh, like I said, when these go on Prime Day, 50% off, I think that's what's going to happen. That's when I'm going to strike and buy again. Dude, it rained today, and then it was nice, and then it was raining, and then it was nice. We're going through this transition, and uh, I love it so much. I love the I love the uh, the transition of the uh, spring because it's going to be super nice. It's going to be super nice weather soon. All right, now let's take a look at my product list. I just want to see what we got going on here. We've only got four products left, and about a half an hour on the show. But that's all good. We're going to uh, talk these prods and then we're going to. Let's talk these headphone products and then we're going to talk about a couple other small things. And then we're just going to hang out for a little bit because uh, we did the two hours. We did two hours. I think if I went until 45, I got to go until 745 basically. <clears throat> All right, now I've got a whole bunch of stuff here on the table. Let's move these ones over and set these bad boys up. This is the box for the KB Ear Storm. Now, with the KB Ear Storm, I actually have the black plastic version and not the beautiful blue plastic, uh, purple plastic. I wish I did have the purple plastic. All right, now follow me. Okay, thank you. And uh, yeah, let's check these out. So what we get with the KB Ear Storm is a really nice set of earbuds that has a plastic body and a really nice big diaphragm inside that is making a lot of great sounding audio. These look good when you put them in your ears and use the included plastic piece to wrap behind your ear to hold it in place. Really, really comfortable. The, uh, the KB Ear Storm comes with a um the kb ear storm comes with uh hold on i kind of cut this tangled i think yeah i do i've got it majorly tangled okay the kb ear storm though when not tangled fits very very comfortably in your ears and they feature a two pin design so that the cable is actually removable uh from the earphones which is great so if you damage the cable and need to replace the earphone uh, you, that's awesome. That's an awesome, awesome option. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I'm just trying to untangle these severely. All 
Hey, we did it. Okay. Now, with the KB ear storms, I know I'm standing kind of far back here holding them up, but this is them. This is them. They look super nice. They come with different silicone tips that you can put on the storms nozzle in order to get the best fit for your ear. They come with a black cable. This set came with the black cable, but you can get a brown cable if you want. The difference is that the black cable does not take calls or have an inline mic while the brown cable does. These are 32 ohms of impedance, I believe. <clears throat> These are 32 ohms of impedance. And uh, so the lows aren't the deepest, but they don't interfere with the highs. These offer a really, really quality sound, whether you're listening to like regular kind of like sounding music. I'm not sure what I mean by regular sounding music. I guess like something that is mixed very well and not too deep in bass or focused too much on highs. Also, um, the, the silicone goes on the nozzle. It has a nice diaphragm. It comes in a couple of different colors. And these are available for $18.99 today and have a four and a half star rating with just under 1,900 reviews. Uh, these are the KB Ear Storms. They are 18 bucks. They're $19 today. Now let's move on to our KB Ear Rose Finch because of the two KB Ear Ear, in ear monitors that I've got, I'm quite partial to the Rose Finch. Now, the KB Ear Rose Finch is available today for $18. Okay, so it's actually a dollar cheaper than the the Storms. Now, what is beautiful? Excuse me. <clears throat> I see here. I sit here, although we got seven people watching. That's the most that we've had watching it concurrently today. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for watching. Right now, we are talking about the KB Ear Storms, but I was just about to share an anecdote that goes something like this. <clears throat> I talk on this show very loud and I don't understand what an elevated voice might have to do with hiccuping or some type of like, I don't know, indigestion or something. But I sit here all day. I talk all day to my friends. I don't hiccup. I don't have any like stage issue with it. But every time I do the show, I find that I'm hiccuping or like indigesting water or something. I don't know. Find it unpleasant. I wish I could just never, ever have the hiccups again. <clears throat> All right. Now, with that little anecdote out of the way, truly what I love about the Rose Finch's aesthetic is that it has this air aviation grade zinc alloy exterior. Now, it is plastic on the other side, which I also really enjoy because it allows you to see the diaphragm in here. Um, and that's really beautiful. The Rose Finch's, just like the Storms, they just fit really, really nice in my ear. And these come with the brown cable that offer you the ability to take calls, okay? So it also features a two-pin design. Now, just like the uh, KB Ear Storm, it does have that two-pin design, like I'm saying here. Really easy to remove the, the in-ear monitor from the cable and replace it if you wanted to. Now, as I'm putting this back together, understand this. The Rose Finches have amazing bass, and these are going to really, really be wonderful for people who love low end in their music. Okay, now as we put the two pin uh, plug back into the Rose Finch, we can take them out. We can put it in my ear. Okay, really easy to put in. And once again, we can take that little plastic piece and put it behind our ear ever so nicely. And as I said, the brown cable does have the microphone uh, built into it, so uh, you can take calls uh, by pressing the button. It also has the microphone in line. The Rose Finches aren't too heavy. They feel really great. They also come with silicone tips that are adjustable sizes. They come like with several different adjustable tips so that you can get the best, snuggest fit that you feel comfortable with uh, wearing the Rose Finch. I love how loud these things are and how even though the bass is super, super present in the Rose Finch, it's not washing out the highs too much, okay? But if you like some techno music or music that has like a lot of bass and you really want that beautiful bass experience, then these Rose Finch 
uh, in-ear monitors by KB Ear are the way to go. Available for $18 today and feature a four and a half star rating with 263 reviews. Now we're going to move on and we're going to talk about more products. We just got a couple left uh, in today's show, but uh, no matter, no matter, let's talk about them. And that's going to be the knife. And then what was the other thing? Oh, the Ihe Sig is the last thing. Okay, no problem. All right, let's take a look at this. This is the SRM Knives v, uh, V228G. This is the V228G ambidextrous lock. Uh, now, I've got the red version. It did come in a blue version as well. Here is that knife. This is a really nice uh, black coated um, knife that is VG. 10 graded steel okay so stronger than stainless i kind of just kind of use mine to open a lot of boxes and stuff now what is beautiful about this is the handle and it's g10 scales i think it's really hard to kind of see the texture that is on this knife but it's a really really nice texture now the ambidextrous lock you can see is available on the left and the right side here it is with my finger we can un unlatch the lock and push the knife down like this, okay? Also, the lock is ambidextrous, so you can do it from the other side as well. I can hit this with my thumb, really easy to collapse this knife. It has a belt buckle that is easily removable and swappable, so you can put this on both sides. It's got a hole for uh, uh, a lanyard if that's what you need. And the G10 scales on this, really on the, on the grip, really give it a nice handheld uh, grip. I've been trying to get my hands on more SRM knives, but uh, it's been increasingly difficult as my budget is just like, oh, well, you know, don't buy another knife, okay? You, you don't buy another knife. But they are super affordable. Now, this 7288, excuse me, this 7228 um, knife by SRM is available today for $43. And this has a four and a half star rating with only two ratings. But it is a really, really nice knife. It I love how uh, how easy it is to open. Okay, you can just give it a little flick, and it opens just just fine. Okay. Now the V two two. Excuse me. The seven. Oh, Goman. Whoa, whoa, Goman Planet in the house. What up though? How you doing, Seb? How you doing, Michelle? Hope you guys are great. I know I haven't had an opportunity to visit you recently, but I recognize that you might not be around as often as you have been. Welcome to Clown Live. We uh, started super late today. <clears throat> I was having some problems with the app, so I couldn't start my live stream. I started the live stream, but the data that I was sending wasn't being received by the app. So I was kind of like running... Uh, late with today's show. I tried for 45 minutes to get on. So where normally we might have ended today's show about 20 minutes ago, we're going to run it for another maybe 20 minutes. I got the knife to talk about. I've got the Ihe Siga wearable blanket we're going to get into next. And then I'm just chilling today. I'm just going to chill today for the last few minutes of today's show. So uh, if you are available to hang out with me, what's up, man? What else has been going on besides family month now february 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 was family month yeah absolutely now it's a not an official holiday in canada but we do recognize family day in canada and sometimes people do get days off when they're working like more traditional jobs let me grab literally just some information about family day Uh, Monday, February 19th, 2024. Okay. It's usually the second or third weekend. Uh, in most provinces of Canada, the third Monday in February is observed as a regional statutory holiday, typically known in general as Family Day. Though some provinces use their own names as they celebrate the day for different reasons, the third Monday of February is observed as Family Day in the provinces of Alberta, BC, New Brunswick, Ontario, that's where I'm from, as well as Saskatchewan. 
It's Louis Riel Day in Manitoba and Nova Scotia Heritage Day in Nova Scotia and Islander Day in Prince Edward Island. Uh, in Canada, more generally, the third Monday of February has also been celebrated as Heritage Day, though this is not an official holiday. And then it goes on, do, 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 do. Family Day was first celebrated in 1990. And it goes on from there. You can look it up if you want and get more information about Family Day. But we had a very, very specific Family Day holiday in Canada. We do it every year. So, um, yeah, I didn't do much for Family Day, but I do like a specific type of music, the clown music, you must be aware. And the clown music, they talk to their audience like their family. So it's a very common word. And uh, they did like a family oriented thing. That was the same weekend as, uh... oh, wait, no, this year they didn't. This year they didn't do a concert. They didn't do a concert this year. That's what made this year different from other years. They did not do it. I'm so used to seeing them on family day that I forgot. Mm -hmm. They didn't do one this year. How sad is that? I didn't make it over to Michigan, or I really would have loved to go to that clown show. Um, all right. Let me know about anything else in the chat that you got going on. And I've been really great myself. Um, I've been chilling. We've been doing the live streams. As you know, everything's been like sort of like slowing down on Amazon. It's been difficult to... Uh, has been difficult to maintain the audience that we used to maintain even as early as January, 2023. <coughs> Excuse me. And so uh, we're still out here doing it though. We're still out here doing it now on clown live. Seb, we have desi decided to take a step back a little bit and go from streaming five days a week to streaming four days a week. Um, so that I can focus on making some shoppable videos. Because as the Amazon live streams seem to be difficult to maintain that larger audience that we like kind of were sort of accustomed to, um, we got to focus our energy in other places. So instead of streaming five days a week, we're kind of experimenting with four days a week. So right now I'm doing five to seven, Monday to Thursday. And lately I've been trying to film those shoppable videos, but... The thing about the shoppables is, is that like, I know how to pick up a camera. I know, clearly I know how to speak. I know how to write a script. I know how to talk about a thing, but I don't know what it is about me. There's just something that was making it extremely difficult. I kept second guessing myself and not doing it properly. Um, and so I have been experimenting with going live on Fridays uh, with a list of on-hand products that I need some shoppable videos for. And so I've got my whole live stream set up here. And then I will also set up my point and shoot camera. I got that one right here. Okay. I've got a, uh, I've got a little Canon Vixie, uh, HFR 800. I've been using this. I've been using these point and shoot cameras for years. Seems like they release a new model almost every year. And I've been with these since they were the HF 500, which still is kind of like relatively, I mean, kind of old, I guess, because I was using it all the way back in 2014. But these little 1080p point and shoots are just the perfect thing that I need to make a show. So we set up the live stream and then we set up the offline camera, the Canon, or I call it the Vixia. And then now I'm doing a show to Amazon and I'm trying to film shoppables on a different camera at the same time. And then I just do that for like maybe an hour, you know what I'm saying? And then I take that whole one hour of footage and, uh, and just drag it into my editor and chop up one hour of videos of just this. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, this is all you really need. We got the product on hand. We're talking about it. We're serving the facts. Quick demo if needed. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and I think that is fairly satisfactory for the majority of the shoppables that I'm creating. And, of course, I'm extremely malleable. So if there ever needs to be more, then I'm, I'm always willing to do more. But in the idea that I have, like, a great sense of creative control that Justin has bestowed on me for creating shoppables. I find that this keeps me, I'm live, so I can't be cussing. You know what I mean? I can't get mad. I don't have time to sit and second guess myself and then just say, I'll do this later. You know what I mean? And then don't do it at all. I love 
performing to this non-existent camera because it's not set up right now. But I love performing to this camera, the show, while I'm live because it really holds me accountable and it really does help me get some more work done. Now, I see you saying mega slow on Amazon. We're seeing this too and doing more videos as well. Yeah, you know, I think what the future of Amazon might be truly is going to be like if you want something big to happen on Amazon, I don't think it's Amazon that's going to push you anymore. I think you have to have like your outside audience developed and then bring them in. That's what Amazon wants you to do. I think I don't, you know, I don't pay attention to all of the ins and all of the outs because I find that I would probably have more questions than answers. And then I get like, not stir crazy, but just like so discombobulated because I'm, I'm, I'm having more questions than answers. So I make it really, really kind of like a point to not give the closest attention to the analytics that I see in the app every day. Uh, I think that's just kind of like more of a Justin thing, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm so satisfied with that. Now, one metric that I do notice, Seb, and this is a crazy one, maybe you'll comment on this, is the amount of followers that we're having. Now, you know, when I started um, streaming on Shopping Dragons in October, Okay, we were doing um, there was no streaming happening on this channel uh, when I started it. And so there might have been in the past, but not like recently in October. And so when I started, there was nobody streaming here and we had just under thirteen hundred followers. Now we are the beginning of April and we had twenty eight hundred. Excuse me. Pardon me. We had twenty eight hundred. 86 followers at peak and today we're at 2865 so we've dropped over 20 followers since our peak and that that would have been just like excuse me again <clears throat> that would have been just like two or three weeks ago you know what i'm saying so uh, okay keep at it it's a hustle nice catching up with you gotta go have a good rest of your show okay i'm glad i wasn't speaking directly to you and they just gotta go of course jokes seb thank you for joining uh before you leave if you're still here listening to me do you know do you know when is the next time that you're going live if you do know let me know i'd love to try to come out there and give you the support that everybody deserves here on this wonderful platform all right. Now with Goman Planet leaving, I just want to wrap up saying that the SRM Knives 7228 is available for $43 today. And it does have a harder than stainless blade. This is the GV10 blade with the VG, or this is the VG10 blade with the GV scales. Okay. Okay. So that's the SRM knife. $43 today. Now let's move on to our last product uh, before we, oh, here's the answer. We are going on in a few. You're going on in a few. It's 7.30 PM where I am right now. And I only have to be live for 15 more minutes and I'm on my last product. So I'm going to be there. I'm going to come and check you out right after today's show is done here. Thank you for joining me for just a few minutes. And of course, you know, as it goes, there might be only five people watching, but if you're so inclined, feel free to leave your link in the chat. And if anybody watching isn't following Goman Planet, make sure that you do, okay? It's actually a mistake that you're not following Goman Planet, so be sure to do that as well. And uh, don't forget that here on Cl Shopping Dragons, Clown Live is trying to get that reach to 3,000 followers, okay? We've been dipping. We've been dipping a little bit. Like I was just saying, we are at currently 2,865 followers. We are trying to break that 3,000 follower goal uh, just for the simple validity of hitting such a great number. So make sure you share our stream with the people that you think are interested and, uh, and tell them to just come and hit that follow button. It really, truly helps us here on Shopping Dragons. Now, the very last product that we're going to get into here today is going to be this Ihe Siga wearable blanket. This is what the box looks like. This is what the box looks like, okay? And this is what the wearable blanket looks like. This is the wearable blanket here. It is a big boy, okay? 
Now it's lined with Sherpa. It has really soft material. It's so nice. I'll put this on for you today. Haven't put it on in a while. And uh, let's check this out. Now, while I'm putting this on, uh, understand this. I believe because the temperatures are changing, the weather's getting nice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's becoming springtime. You don't need to be this warm. Like sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. Don't let me downplay it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Ehe Sigma wearable blanket is 51% off today. As I assume the temperatures are changing. So you can get what is normally a $40 blanket today for $19.79. Basically, I'm saying you can scoop this bad boy up for 20 bucks. It's got a nice, nice out, outer lining. Now, this is the regular oversized, so even you can still see my long shorts that I wear, uh, but you can get this in a longer oversized as well. That'll be a little bit longer, and uh, I'm not sure what the deal is on that because right now we're talking about this regular oversized boy. We got the red one. It's got the nice pockets in it that are real big. You can put uh, everything that you need in it, you know what I'm saying, like remote control, whatever. <clears throat> and then also it's got this really nice Sherpa lining inside uh, and it just feels like like a lamb skin. It's so textured and soft. It feels like dipping my hands in cream. OK, I really love this. Mima wears it very often. It does have some uh, some elastic cinched collars. OK, they're nothing too special, but they do help prevent from raising down, falling down your arms when you put your arms up in the air. I don't know what you're wearing the blanket for going like this, but it ain't going to fall if you do, okay? I really love this, and it's really hot, so I'm going to take it off now. But the Ihe Siga wearable blanket, this one is available today for just under $20. And, yeah, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal, if I say so myself. And I do. Okay, boom. We did it, y'all. We did all of our physical products today. Let's full screen me here and just chill, man. We could just chill now for the last 10 minutes of today's show. Normally, I'd be like, let's push it. Let's talk about another product. But uh, starting late today and wrapping up late today, we got this 10-minute block of time. Let's just chill. What's up, Evans? How you doing? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? How is everything? I'll tell you this. I'll just speak from the heart, okay? Because that's all I've got is how I feel. <clears throat> I haven't been feeling so hot. I've been feeling like my mind is clouded and that my judgment is impaired and that I keep making these like calls that I'm not going to be. It's not better than what it is now. That's what I'm trying to say. I've been dealing with, I don't know, cabin fever, cabin fever. Everybody says that they feel like depression. I never really had to make that type of claim. But recently, recently, I've just been finding it difficult to choose happiness. You know what I'm saying? And so so what I've been doing is stressing out. You know what I'm saying? I've been feeling so much stress. I've been feeling stressed with people. I'll spare like some specific so as not to overshare on today's uh live stream show but yeah i've been feeling some stress with some people professionalism and stuff and people aren't being professional and then i'm choosing not to be professional and it's creating like an issue <clears throat> and i've just been sitting inside the house and not going outside and not doing nothing and uh everything's been like different you know and now things are changing, man. This I've been looking forward to this weather change. I don't know why I'm putting so much energy into the winter to spring and spring to summer transition. But this is like this has to be washing away all of my sorrow. Uh, and I'm not like dreadful, but we'll just say dread. All my sorrow and dread. Boom. You know what I mean? We're going to get rid of all that negative mind stuff. I went over to my buddy's house the other day, like I was saying at the top of today's show. And I just, I just went there for a couple days. I just, I got out of, I don't have any particular stress in my own home. Everything's pretty copacetic. Mima and I get along very, very well and uh, everything's good. But um, um, 
I've just been sitting inside too much, man. I've been sitting inside too much. I had that cabin fever. And the last couple of years, like everybody's been going through like some problematic things with like social stuff and everything. Um, and I and I felt the grind. I felt the grind with the social kind of hiatus that everybody was on. And it made me feel very sad. And now, like I'm saying and repeating now, I'm feeling stronger. OK, Um I'm feeling stronger. I'm feeling mental fortitude building and and good things are accumulating good things. Like I'm saying, I went over to my friend's house. I just chilled there for a couple of days. I didn't do much different at his place than what I would do here. But it was just so refreshing to be in a different background. You know what I'm saying? And and have my friend just like there whenever I needed him to be there. We were just chilling all week. Like I was there from thursday until sunday you know it was an awesome time it was an awesome time i know that i'm like a 41 year old man but i still really enjoy just like getting out of my house going to my friend's house just chilling there for a few days we're just like a couple of big kids you know what i'm saying if i'm being real honest and we just want to play video games we want to play a little minecraft we want to go in the back and work on some projects that we've got going on and uh yeah like uh like i'm repeating i just had a really really fantastic time being away from home for a few days and mima she's actually gonna leave town for the easter weekend she's gonna go up and visit her family okay this weekend and so I, I hit my boy up. I'm like, I'm coming back. I'm coming back for a couple of days. There's no need for me to sit here. <clears throat> so that's going to be really fun. And I just see that as a turning point. I see that as a turning point. Uh, I was there and I was like, man, I'm so glad that I'm here. I'm so glad that I got to come here and be here and not there. You know, I get to be here, not there. It was awesome. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm super stoked. <laughs> I'm sorry for being repetitive about my emotional state, but it is a fact. I'm ready to start clown living again. I got to clown live, okay? And I'm super stoked to do that. You know, our uh, the festival, I talk about it all the time, the music festival that I love so much. It is coming. It's going to come at the beginning of July this year. So we got all of April, all of May, all of June, and then we get to go. So not much longer, okay? Not too much longer before we get to attend that. And really, just carrying on with that, I know June is kind of like the end of spring, the beginning of summer. But I, even at 40, I haven't been to school. I haven't been to school for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? But for me, summer still just kind of begins at the beginning of July. Everybody's out of school. I mean, that doesn't affect me at all. But it's just the two months off, like that two-month break in the summertime. That is so nice. And uh, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Usually when that July, August time is happening, this music festival I love that's been happening for 25 years is 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 happening like at the end of July or maybe in the middle of August. It's been many years since it's been at the beginning of July. So I'm hoping that the place that we go to isn't too hot. And um and I'm hoping that uh, we're going to be able to regulate our body temperature well. Because really, like once it's August, when it happens in August, sure, it's still hot outside. But for the most part, like this is kind of like really generally speaking and maybe not in a very educated way. But like in my opinion, once it's like post August, especially if it's near the end of August, you've really kind of broken summer. Like you're broken the beginning of summer. You might still have some hot days. You still get nice days in September and August, uh, excuse me, in September and some fall days in October. But those really, truly, brutally hot days, those are popping off. Those are popping off in July and the beginning of August. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm just saying again, I hope it's not too hot when we get there in July. I still remember the very, very first time that I went it was in 2014. I went to this music festival in Ohio in the summer. And uh, and I had never been outside that much that long in the past. I was so hot. Had like overheated. I just overheated and had like a heat stroke or something. I don't know if the heat stroke is the right terminology. But I was like, I was so hot. I couldn't cool down. I was getting like crazy in my mind. Like everything was zooming. And then, uh, and I was sweating. And I was just, like, I wasn't panicking. I just couldn't cool down. And then at the end of all that, I just, I'm like, I've got to go lay down. And I went and laid down in the bed 
And I woke up later when the sun had gone down and I felt like crazy, like hung over from the sun, not weak, but strange. <laughs> that was like almost 10 years ago. <clears throat> and I'll never forget it. I'll never forget that feeling. It was absolutely insane. All right, listen, I want to say this. We have covered our two-hour time limit here on Clown Live. I think I'm going to end this Monday show, okay? Thank you, Joanna, for coming and watching today's episode with me and participating in the chat. Evans, I feel the same way about you. Thank you for joining me. Now, Seb, I know you're gone now, but Goman Planet and uh, Travel Diva, you came out today. Thank you for supporting me. Rome knows tech. I appreciate you as well. I need to spend Vicky E. What up? Uh, thank you for joining me on the show today. And uh, that's everybody that chatted today. It's been a really, really kind of slow sort of situation. Let's see if we built up or lost any followers. I still remember my vertical fair ride. My vertical fair ride. What vertical? Like the one that launches you straight up or drops you straight down. Listen, I went on a tower like that in Montreal in 2003 or 2004. And um, and I'm like, yeah, okay, we'll just launch straight up. Whatever. I don't care. And we launched straight up. Oh, hold on. Oh, we lost another follower. We went from 2865 to 2864 today. So we're maybe I should say that I want to have less followers so that way more people will follow. Because ever since I've been tracking the followers, uh, they've been going down. So we're at 2864 today. We lost another follower today. But uh, yeah, the uh, I remember my vertical fair ride. Unexpected. Unexpected and hot goes upside down. I never went on like a like a tower that shoots you up or slowly lifts you and then drops you. Dude, when they put me on the tower that went straight up, like fast up, it was a completely different sensation that I had never experienced before in my life. And I think that when we consider some carnal pleasures yeah i i it was akin it was akin it was akin i couldn't believe it my whole body was like oh <laughs> this, this, this is true <laughs> that's true i was just like oh i can't believe this and then we didn't go fast down we went down slow and i never went on the drop i never went on the drop just getting shot up was enough for me it was absolutely insane um it goes upside down. The dude working it held us inside. Like the zipper? Are you talking about the zipper? Let me know. All right, let me know if you're talking about the zipper carnival ride. And we are going to end our conversation right there. Thank you again, Joanna, for hanging out with me today. I have been your host on this episode of Clown Live. Dragon Blaker, you may call me Blake. I will return here on this channel, Shopping Dragons, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with an all-new show. Let's see what we're taking a look at tomorrow. We got... a lot of physical products. We got a lot of physical products tomorrow. And I think we only have maybe one B-roll tomorrow. One B-roll tomorrow. And... Uh, we only got one B-roll tomorrow, so that's cool. So another great show of physical products to take care of tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, the, I bet it did. The, yeah, 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 that's the name. I love the zipper. It's a crazy ride. It's a heavy ride. It's a hard ride to work on. I used to work for the carnival, and I have set up and tore down that ride only a few times. It is a nightmare. It is a hard ride to set up and tear down. Okay, um, that's it from me here. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on Clown Live. Joanna, I love you so much today. Thank you for being with me. I hope we get to talk more tomorrow. Um, and that's it. That's it. So I will be back tomorrow at 5 o'clock. That is in about maybe 23 hours uh, from now. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to start on time tomorrow. And if we don't get to start on time, we will still be here as the creator app. <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, as the creator app allows us to. 
All right. With that, much clown love. Whoop, whoop. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.